Thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, really do appreciate it in advance of our monthly update uh, for indirect tax purposes. Here to talk a little bit about a legislative change in the state of Michigan uh, related to delivery and installation charges. This was signed by the governor of the state of Michigan and became immediately effective on April 26th. Um, provided that installation and delivery charges are separately stated in invoice, they're no longer going to be subjected to tax. Joining me today is Bob Perry. Bob is a director in our indirect tax practice based in Chicago. Thanks for joining, Bob. Uh, Bob, I wanted to ask you for a little bit of background related to the legislation. Yeah, thanks for having me, Brad. Uh, the law changes originated from growing concerns in the business community about the Michigan Department of Treasury's enforcement of the prior law applicable to delivery and installation charges. The prior law contained a more complicated test to determine when installation and delivery charges were subject to tax. And while Treasury provided administrative guidance, the application remained unclear to taxpayers, resulting in significant controversy at the state level. Bob, now that we have the clarity from the legislature, what do you view the next steps to be for our taxpayers? First and foremost, as you mentioned, because the legislation and the new rule is effective immediately, uh, taxpayers should review their systems to make sure that any appropriate changes are made to their treatment of delivery and installation charges as both a seller and a purchaser. Also, as it relates to taxpayers who have outstanding assessments from the Michigan Department of Treasury, this legislation requires that the Treasury cancel those assessments for periods prior to April 26, 2023. The Treasury is going through that process and anticipates being complete with that by July 25th, 2023. Any taxpayers who find themselves in that situation should contact the Treasury or their state auditor to determine the next steps uh, to ensure they receive the cancellation. Bob, uh, thanks for the update. Really do appreciate that information. You know, obviously this is good news for Michigan-based taxpayers. The cloud here, if there is one, is the idea of the effective immediately, right? So April 26th, the idea of getting the tax consequences correct for our retailers is going to be extremely important. So everyone, please take heed of this. Um, and if you have any questions, let us know. And we look forward to talking again next month. Thank you.